Hello YouTube, TJ Jason Live here. Today I have a special video for you guys. And as you can see, I picked 10 knives out of my, uh, I would say around 50-ish knives. Um, these are my top 10 uh, most favorite EDC knives. I just want to go over them with you and yeah, see what you think. Um, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Uh, the first one on the list is this one. This one is the uh, Mr. Mr. Designs Vero. Um, it's the most minimalist knife in my collection. Uh, just look at the design here. Uh, it's just so simple and clean. Uh, it has one pivot screw and one clip screw um, and one button here. And yeah, it's just so clean. Uh, and this is the flipper here. And let's do a flick. Okay. Uh, the flick is really, really snappy. And the detent is pretty strong. You cannot feel this uh, flipper. Yeah, super, super clean action. This one has, um, you can see it, M390 blade. And it's like a, uh, it's not a hollow grind, but it's like a flat grind, um, satin finish. Yep. Okay, this is the first one. Uh, let's move on to the second one. On the list is this Quire Curry Drift Large. This one is special because this one has Venex steel, which is completely uh, stainless, and you cannot rust this steel, which makes this knife perfect EDC for camping uh, purposes. Yeah. And titanium skill with uh, wire pocket clip do some stuff. Action is on washer. Uh, it's pretty snappy and smooth for a washer knife. As you can see, the knife will drop and then you can shake it shut. Yeah, it's pretty good action for a uh, for a washer knife moving on to number three it's my Chris Reeve Spenza 31 this one uh, has plain chain skills and in single blade shape which is uh, like a warning kind of blade shape which is really useful uh, for EDC tasks um also do uh some stars magnet cut blade steel frame lock i think chris riff actually designed frame lock yeah moving on to uh, number four is my chris rave woman zone uh, woman zone means uh the boss just like the name this knife looks bossy as you can see it has a glass breaker here and the build quality is just super super good you can absolutely beat on this knife and it won't uh, fail on you that's why this uh, knife made the list uh, I like the quality and the reliability of this knife this one also has Magnica blade steel do some stuffs, uh, frame lock. I also added a J2H uh, backspacer, which is also titanium, polished titanium backspacer. I just, I just think this looks really cool. Yep. And you can add lanyard uh, to the backspacer as well. And yeah, moving on to number five. 
is my Damco AD20. Uh, this one is in spear point, play shape, and Magnica play steel, which is my most favorite Damco knives. Yeah, super, super tanky. Uh, as you can see, the blade stock is really thick. It's just like a, it's just like a beast of a knife. Yeah, it's super fidgety as well because of the shark lock, um, textured titanium scales. Yeah. Uh, moving on to number six is my. V knife solid. This one is a collaboration between V and GTC. Uh, this one has a special feature is this flipper tab. As you can see, this one has a special flipper tab because there is a spring loaded inside. And when you flip the flipper actually disappeared it's hidden here so that the knife will keep like really really uh, clean uh, look when open and when you close it the flipper is uh, just a little bit out of the scales which is which makes this knife super interesting to me and also this knife is actually an integral design. One solid piece of titanium uh, design, which is really hard to do. But yeah, super good action. Uh, open and close. Snappy, snappy D10. Drop shotty action on bearing. Um, yeah. This one has 20 CV blade steel, and uh, this is like a compound grind. Just look at the lines. This knife is probably my favorite V knife design. Yep. Moving on to my next one is Tactile Knife Co. Archer. Uh, I believe the designer of this knife is TJ Schwartz. Yeah, his design is just on point. Um, the blade is Magnica, uh, is Magnica steel. Um, super good action on this knife. Uh, flipper, and also you had you can use this uh, hole over here to do a reverse flick. I think this one is on. Double row skiff bearing, which makes this knife super smooth when closing. Super, super smooth. This one uh, reminds me of um, my uh, Shirogawa uh, Quantum Gen 2. Yeah, super good action. Uh, and also this one has feathered titanium scales and on this side it has zero screws which is, looks gorgeous and on the lock side there is body screws and pivot screw and clip screw yep super nice and moving on to next one is my Grinsmo Rusk this one has the dragon scale, titanium scales. I just think this looks awesome as the the pattern also is on the clip. As you can see, those machine work just so amazing. And this one is also having the green small action, which is like Super, super drop shotty. Just like a guillotine. You can 
do this all day. Yeah, super good action. This one is in um, CPM 154 still, and serial number is 2238. Yeah, all silver hardware. Looks so clean. Okay, uh, moving on to the second last one. This one is my Oz Machine Company Rosewell. This one has um, the Golf Porter uh, milling pattern and also bronze accent um, pivot screw and also body screw and also uh, backspacer stone washed uh, clip yeah this one is so smooth the action on this rosy is second to none um, yeah this one has magnet cup blade steel as well Super good action, super good um, ergos as well. Yeah, it's just uh, so perfectly designed. Yeah, moving on to my last one is uh, my most recent uh, acquisition. Uh, this one is SPK, as you can see the logo here, SPK Lamia. Monotone titanium uh, scales. It just looks gorgeous. Stone washed clip. And this one has crew wears uh, steel. And you can see the milling line on the plate. Just looks gorgeous. Such good. Uh, machining work and this one is also on washer because it's a gen 2 I believe uh, starting from gen 3 um, the designer or the maker of the knife uh, added the bearing option but this one is on washer only but the action is just so smooth uh, for a washer knife. The tolerance is really, really good as well. There's no blade play and it's dead center. Just gorgeous. Uh, yeah, there you go. These are my top 10 favorite EDC knives. And yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for watching. And please uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And yeah, thank you.